Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Is XRP about to do price-wise exactly what it did one year ago? Look, I gotta tell you guys something. I've seen a ton of the analysts that I follow, relatively speaking, uh, talking about XRP price imminently breaking. Now, if you've been following my videos where I talk about price in general, about XRP and Bitcoin and just crypto in general, then you know part of my deal. Uh, I I'm not a chart analyst. Uh, I just, I find it so boring. I'm so thankful that there are other humans out there that genuinely find it interesting. I hate it. So you know what I do? I do something a little bit different than what other YouTubers do. At least, I I'm not aware of anybody else doing quite what I do. When I do make videos where I'm talking about price, the latest action, expectations, uh, where it's going to go, up, down, sideways, blah, blah, blah. Uh, a big part of what I do, and I, of course I share my personal opinions along the way, of course I do. But uh, I highlight what the respected analysts that I follow think is likely to occur. And so I'm basically taking the temperature of the room. And it's been interesting. That, like I said, when I see a lot of the analysts that I follow come to roughly the same conclusion, it's been my experience that more likely than not, what they expect to happen will roughly happen or exactly happen, right? Maybe not literally exactly, because they have a bunch of different things, but you, you got the cut of my jib, right? I'm taking the temperature of the room, right? It's about probability of outcomes. You, you could think of each individual analyst, uh, analyst as a, like a data point, and you could, you could chart it, right? Well, what happened a year ago? For those of you that were around watching my channel a year ago, it was much smaller back then. So thank you to everybody that's come along since then, by the way, and everybody that's watched me from, the, from day one. I, I really do appreciate it. It's been an amazing ride, let me tell you that. But what happened a year ago? Well, for the first time since I had started the channel, I saw the vast majority of the analysts that I follow that were willing to talk about XRP. For the first time, I saw a ton of them all in a very short period of time say, uh, XRP looks like it's about to blow. It's about to pop. Beginning of the year. And what happened? Oh, it popped. It went from about 25 cents up to close to 80 cents. And by the way, for those of you new to crypto and XRP, uh, XRP hadn't been to 80 cents. Like, I don't even know when. It, it seemed like forever ago. Over a year, two years, I, I don't remember exactly. It, it, it could have been on the, the, the way back down in, in 2018. For all, I'd have to go look and double check. The point is, it, it had been a very long time. And I was like, holy hell, there's something to the wisdom of the group. At least it seemed at that point. And then what happened? Well, <laughs> next time I noticed that, and I cited it on the channel before the pop. Uh, in, uh, I guess it was April, when, when XRP ran up to about $2. I said, guys, just so you know, uh, all these analysts that I'm, I'm following, and like, here you go, know, here, here it is. Look, it's on your screen. This is what they're saying. I don't know. I'm not a chart analyst, but uh, I noticed a bunch of people all of a sudden saying about the same thing. And wouldn't you know, XRP took off again. And then it happened a third time. This summer, after XRP hit its its recent low of somewhere near 50 cents, I think it might have gotten as low as 52 cents, according to Live Coin Watch, something like that, and then it boomed right back on up. Well, right now I'm seeing about the same thing, pretty close to it. Um, just for comparison's sake, last year, um, and I didn't actually count this before recording the video, so my memory could be a little off. I admit that. Um, just to be transparent, but I, I do think it may have been like eight or ten different analysts that I follow were talking about XRP like literally one year ago uh, saying this thing looks like it's actually for real about to go. And that's what caught my attention. I said it before it popped. I covered it on this channel and then it happened. Well, right now I've got about five different analysts. I think it, it might be exactly five for this video at least that I've recalled that I'm going to highlight in this video saying exactly the same damn thing like it's about to freaking go. Uh, so I don't feel like it's quite as many as, as a year ago, but I'm kind of curious to see how many more analysts within the coming days uh, might start talking about something like this. It, it will, I don't know if it's going to happen, but look, this type of thing catches my attention, and it, there's, there's something to the, you know, the wisdom of the group. Apparently, it does look that way, at least to this point. And look, I don't have a financial background, and mind you, I'm not offering financial advice, so you shouldn't buy or sell anything because of anything I say, all right? Just an enthusiast here making YouTube videos about crypto stuff just as a hobby, just for fun. But it's very interesting to see what they're talking about. And so that's all I want to highlight in this video, to be honest with you. And as I record this video, XRP is at $1.20. Bitcoin's at $62,452. Market cap for the asset class, uh, a little over $2.8 trillion. Bitcoin dominance at 41.86%. Uh, and uh, here's the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, 73 out of 100, indicating that the lemmings out there, the, the typical 
retail speculators, which I think are very lovable and very cuddleable. Uh, they are they are feeling pretty good right now. They're not fearful. I don't want these lovable, cuddleable, cuddle, cuddleable little thing. That's like I'm messing up that word. Cuddleable little things. Uh, I don't want them to be fearful. But I know they will be again at some point in the future. I just don't know when. But markets teeter totter back and forth. We're in greed now. Eventually, we'll be in extreme greed. Maybe before that, we'll be in extreme fear. Probably not, but possibly. Uh, even if we go into extreme greed first, eventually we will be back into extreme fear, and then back again, and back again, and back again. And my gosh, all of these investors that are freaking out, you know what would have been better for them? And data proves this. And I'm going to talk about this more in actually probably my very next video. It's just doing nothing and holding. And I have some really interesting data I'm going to have to share in a different video because it's a completely different topic. But uh, man, just like knock off the stupid stuff. Or, or don't. You know, you do you. You do you, girl. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But here's the headline from the Daily Huddle. XRP set for massive breakout with altcoins poised to steal the show from Bitcoin, predicts top crypto analyst. And they're talking about stuff that um, Credible Crypto, Chart Analyst Credible Crypto has been sharing about XRP very recently. So I don't really want to read the article and go through all of it exactly again. I just want to point this out. Because if you look at each individual analyst that I follow as a data point, it becomes telling. Because I'm seeing a lot of analysts again right now suddenly doing this. This is only the fourth time I've spoken like this in the history of my channel. The, the last three times, uh, XRP popped in short order. I don't know if that means a week or two from now or whatever. I don't pretend to know. And also we're talking in terms of probability. So it doesn't mean it is going to happen. I don't know that this is going to happen. I'm not convinced 100% this is going to happen, nor was I the last three times. But it might. And I'm just saying, <laughs> this many people start talking like this. And I, I was talking about Credible Crypto in my video uh, yesterday where I was talking about pricing. And he, he says, look, the resistance level to watch for is from a buck fifty for XRP to a buck sixty, roughly around there. And he says, you might see it grinding through that, but once it goes, it's going to pop. You're going to see it hit roughly its all-time high. I believe the, if, if I'm not mistaken, I think the dollar figure that he cited was three dollars and fifty cents, but he said uh, for the this next really big run up, don't be surprised if it exceeds five dollars. That's what he said, and he, he expects that it's going to go down after that because there's going to be a retracement. That's typically what you see, and then back to the upside. And he does think ultimately XRP ends up at uh, at least at ten dollars plus, but more probable probable well, in terms of like like what's probable, like on the higher end, um, thirty bucks. But the range that he keeps citing is 20 to 30 bucks, and so we'll see if that happens. I don't know. The crypto's freaking insane. What the hell do I know? I'm just a simple little moon nambo doing moon nambo stuff. I'm just saying. I'm just pointing out stuff. And then there was this from AMB Crypto. Why XRP might have a shot at $4 in the next two weeks. And again, I'm not here to sit here, uh, to sit here and uh, rehash somebody's technical analysis. I cover quotes here and there that happen to have aspects of it, but I, I, I try to shy away from that. There's plenty of technical analysis channels out there, and if you want that, then go listen to them, because they're great channels. A lot of them are anyway, and, and that's fine. I'm trying to do something a little bit different here, which is just like, say, here's what some of the most accurate and respected analysts in the space are saying, and when they happen to think roughly the same thing, I've noticed that they're typically right. There's something to the wisdom of the group. That's all that I'm doing here. So I don't really want to read the article. It's, it's fine, but that's another data point. If you just want to look at the individual human that's saying this as a data point. And then there's this from chart analyst Leb Crypto. The following is based on thorough technical analysis on the Bitcoin and USD chart pairs, not hopium. I believe a very big move is imminent expecting a 70 to 85 percent move to the upside soon explosive minimal pullbacks is it certain no nothing ever is and you know what i respect that very much uh, he's just being honest whether he's right or he's wrong i love the intellectual honesty because uh, nothing is guaranteed. That's why I keep saying when it comes to these analysts, like some people are overly like critical and harsh to these. I'm like, my gosh, these are these are not some sort of like, like these individuals. They're humans, you know. They're not oracles. They don't actually know the future. Do you understand this? Like, <laughs> give them a little bit of a break. If they're operating in good faith and they're more right than they are wrong, it's like chill, bro. Just like give them a little breathing room, you know. And so I respect this. It, he's talking about what is probable. And he, by the way, this is another one of the analysts, just like Credible Crypto was. These are two of the analysts that I was citing from a year ago that said, hey, this thing looks like it's about to pop. In their own words, with their own expectations, but they were both saying at about the same time. And I don't think that they're just sitting there copying each other. They, they were saying this. And I don't normally see that. That's what I'm saying. I don't normally see that. Interesting. 
Uh, and then there, oh, well, here's the chart that he shared, by the way. Just in case anybody's curious, I had that pulled up. You can feel free to take a look right there. And then there's this from Chart Analyst DIY Investing. Another one of the analysts that one year ago said, hey guys, uh, just so you know, waving over here, look at me. This thing looks like it's about to pop. And he's saying the same thing here effectively. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quote it. Uh, this is a tweet from him. All time highs, here we come, XRP. I can't get over how bullish XRP looks right now, even with the lawsuit looming. I believe $10 is a safe bet. In the short term, the type of move we are seeing looks to be what will produce a large breakout into price discovery. Now, folks, you do understand what price discovery means. You're not entering price discovery until the all-time high is met, right? Because discovery, <laughs> what he's talking about there is, huh, well, we've not seen this before. It is now above what it has previously done. Let's discover this together. Where is the price of XRP actually going? Which is the exciting and fun part, which we've been waiting for since January 4th of 2000 freaking 18, when XRP did hit its then all-time high of $3.92, according to Live Coin Watch. You'll get different prices depending on which source you look at, because they're pulling data from different sources in different ways, and that's all that that means. But regardless, it happened on that day. We've been waiting since then. And do you think that XRP will never enter price discovery ever again? Do you think that the last time that it was uh, in, in discovery mode was at some point on January 4th, 2018? It'll never happen again? Because I don't. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not going to make a price prediction. But I don't think that's the last time we'll have ever seen XRP doing, you know, reaching up into the stratosphere, you know, grabbing at prices that we've just never seen before. And that's been my bet, by the way, for multiple years. Ever since I saw that XRP bubble inflate and then pop, my bet has been that it would inflate again. And I've been betting on that for many years, never sold a single XRP since purchasing them back in uh, November 2017. Uh, now, here's another one. Here's another chart analyst, and Besson. This guy's ridiculously accurate. XRP waking up. And by the way, this one's from November 2nd. I may have, I think I covered this one on the channel a couple days ago, but I want to put some stuff together. So uh, if you're wondering why the repeat, that's the reason. Uh, XRP waking up. Once the projection is drawn, it's only a matter of time. Folks, like take it for what it's worth. And look, I, I talk about the followings a lot of these guys have, and not all of them have gigantic followings. Uh, that's not the only reason that I choose to follow someone. But what I have found is that a lot of the time, these analysts have gigantic followings. It's because it's deserved because they are so damn accurate. That's the reason. I'm not just picking people that happen to have huge followings. Not for the sake of it, anyway. They're certainly not. But 212,000 followers here. Yeah, like... <laughs> I'm t these are not fly-by-night individuals. They're, they're just not. These are people that have been around for some time. They understand the space. This is my perception of them. I'm just sharing my opinion. My humble opinion, which is the right way to say opinion. If you say uh, opinion, you are wrong. It's opinion. Sounds like French kind of opinion. I don't know. You're doing it wrong. Try better. And so uh, here you go. 212,000 followers. <laughs> it is what it is, folks. Again, I don't know, but when I start to see this many well-respected analysts saying about the same type of thing, I get a little, I get a little bit excited. Uh, the Moon Lambo excitometer, I don't know what I'm at right now. It's, it's, it's getting up there. I don't know. Am I, am I at like a, a 30 out of 100? Am I 40 out of 100? 50 out of 100? I don't know. I just made this up right now. I can't really tell you. Maybe it'll be a thing. No, it, it's not going to be a thing, folks. It, it's not going to be a thing. I, but I, no, I did. I did. I felt like a tinge of something. I was like, there might be something here. Don't let me down, analysts. <laughs> but it's about probability of outcome. That's why, like, if you're playing with numbers, too, like, understand this. Like, the way that, uh, you know, things work out when you're talking about probability, it, eventually, if the same group, if I keep noticing over a span of just make up a number, like a crazy long number, like two decades, if I keep noticing that they align on certain things, and even if most of the time that means something, a small percentage of the time, that will mean that it, they end up being wrong. Like, it's not going to happen because it's not a certainty that, that because a big number of the analysts I follow think something's going to happen. It's not the case. Sometimes the minority plays out. And so could that be the case here? Yeah. Of course it could. I don't. Pre that's why I keep saying it. I don't pretend to know. I'm just shooting it straight with you here. But usually it's not. And so it's enough that it's caught my attention. And... Um, if we see more, jump on board here. Like, I'll tell you what, a year ago, the blockchain backer was one of them. I, I haven't seen him talk like this recently. There's a chance I missed it. I've been on vacation and missed some interesting stuff. Um, so maybe he has and I've just missed it. Or maybe he will in the near future. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But 
Uh, I'm just saying, if more pile on the bandwagon here, and I think they're doing it independently, to be very honest, I don't think they all follow each other. I happen to follow these handles. That's me following them. I don't think they all happen to follow each other. I, I don't know. I'd have to look it up. But uh, if I see even more pile on, oh, I wants to be talking about it. So uh, th that's that's all I wanted to cover in this video. That's it. I think it's worth being aware of this. Do with this information what you will. Uh, I'm just going to keep monitoring the situation and be um, optimistic like I have been for the entirety of the time I've been in crypto, including the bear market. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.